All right, so the pre-vacuuming is done before we even begin the, any carpet cleaning because um, just going over the carpets, we can usually pull out like an entire Kirby bag of debris and that's exactly what we were able to get out of here is just to get a lot of that fine dust and debris out of the carpeting and that's deep down in there. Um, we do set our vacuum appropriately to get as much airflow as possible. Additionally, having that beater bar beaten down on the carpets also helps to loosen up the fibers and open them up so they can receive the pre-spray solution of the cleaner and the carpets better so that when we run our um, agitation machine over it to scrub the carpets it actually is having a much greater impact so the pre-vacuuming is just the first step of opening up the whole uh, carpet cleaning process to allow everything to um, work together more smoothly and more optimally and that's what we do is we try to do our, our best job possible and this is the first step to making sure that that happens Moving right along to the soil suspension process. This actually occurs in two parts, A and B. Um, part A is the application of our pre-spray, which to the right there you see our uh, multi-sprayer, electric multi-sprayer, so that lays down a good application of the pre-spray down on the carpeting. And then next to it to the left, we have our Master Blend Brush Pro system, which is a mechanical agitation machine. So what that's going to do is that, uh, turn this over real quick, take a look at it, you can see those, those brushes under there are counter rotating from each other and gently grooming and uplifting on the carpet piling so that uh, cleaning solution that we applied to the carpeting gets groomed in and scrubbed and helps to loosen any sticky residue or things in the carpeting. And at the same time, if we were in a, like a, a house with a lot of uh, pet hair and whatnot in the carpeting, we would run this over additionally with the, uh, the vacuuming process just to help pull up and loosen up all that hair so that it comes out better. And we do have collection reservoirs that we can put on this uh, Brush Pro system and that will help to uh, pick up and collect hair as well. So that's just uh, one means that we can collect matted lint and hair out of the carpeting. Um, in this situation, I took a pretty close look to it and didn't really notice any hair or any lint or anything like that that didn't, you know, lift out with a, a good vacuum. So um, you kind of look for your telltale signs and work accordingly to what needs to be done to provide the uh, best possible results. We got our hoses and lines running through the house and we are ready to begin the steam out. So this is phase three. Go ahead and use uh, a 250 degree water with about uh, 500 PSI or so. And this will just help to rinse everything. And because we went over with the CRV, I can go a little bit faster over the carpeting just so that it doesn't get the carpets and nearly as wet I am wanting to give them a good extraction so um, this is where you, you you give a little bit up front so you can take a little bit off the end